It's the SBS survivalist show everyone's talking about, Alone Australia. And this week, a winner was crowned. It's more that this place is giving me a... No way! What the f***? Yeah. <laughs> Would you please welcome the winner of Alone Australia, Gina Chick! Gina, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. How does it feel to be the winner of the first ever Alone Australia? It feels um, quite surreal to be out and to have won, also because I spent nine months holding the secret of winning so deeply that I almost forgot that I'd won. And when I watched at the watch party last week, I was watching, watching Mike going, oh, my God, go, Mike. Wait, no, no, it's me. That's right. Go, Gina. <laughs> it was almost a surprise when Lee turned up again. It's amazing. For those who haven't seen the show, how would you describe it to them? Take 10 people with questionable sanity, <laughs> somehow convince them that it's a really good idea to go out and spend as long as they can in the wilderness with a few bits of kit trying to survive and the only way out is to either tap a red button to say, this is crap, get me out of here, or I'm done, or get medically tapped out or to have someone who you love turn up and tell you that you've won. It is amazing. Yeah. Wow. You last. <laughs> Tim's tapping the button right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did an amazing job. So, for background, everyone was allowed to bring 10 essential survival items like an axe, a rope, a chocolate Bavarian cake. <laughs> I wish. All, all of the other contestants bought a sleeping bag. You didn't. You bought a Pepper's Resort room key. <laughs> um... Yeah. No. But the helicopter didn't turn up. The to helicopter take me to didn't Peppers. turn up. I was asking the whole time, send me, send me the helicopter. How did you how did you survive? How did you sleep out there? I'm I'm wearing my sleeping bag right now for you. And it's a very hot sleeping bag. Um, it's actually a, a coat that's made from the pelts of 40 possums. And oh, wow. I decided, yeah, I decided I did not catch the possums, sadly. I would love to say that I caught and ate all of those possums, but I didn't. <laughs> We I bought them from someone know. else. <laughs> my, my suit's made of silkworms. I didn't eat them all. Just a couple. I know. It's okay. The sacrifices that we make for you're fashion. Like, you're like Australia's Cruella de Vil. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> yep. So I, so I made this possum skin coat with the help of a Durawell elder who's a friend of mine, uh, Dr Jodie Edwards, and she's a lineage holder for possum skin cloaks. And I gave her a call and said, hey, Jode, how, did, how, would, how do you think it would go if I, you know, made a possum skin coat? And she was like, yeah, great, go for it. It's, well, it's, it's amazing to make it because they don't sell those patterns at Spotlight. You can't just go... <laughs> you can't go to Lincraft and there's a roll of possums that you just... <laughs> <laughs> so it would, have made it a, would have made it a lot easier. It would have, would have easier, made it a it? lot easier. Yeah. Look, it's fair to say the coat held you in good stead, and you, you stayed strong mentally out in the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> Day twenty-six, I believe. <laughs> Singing a fish calling song. Wow. I've had a pretty good run. Pretty good run. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you were on The Voice at that stage? <laughs> I, I actually wrote an entire album out there and um, of all of the amazing songs that I wrote, what ended up there was fishy, 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 fishy. fishy. I'm sure it's going to be a hit. <laughs> they probably didn't want to come near you because they thought you were going to make a puffer jacket out of them, <laughs> Gina. I would have if I could. <laughs> Incredible. You, you did manage to find a fish. Gutted him, and it's a boy fish. And he's got spermy bits. And this, I'm going to save this fish for tomorrow morning for breakfast. But I'm going to eat the sperm now. Oh! It's, it's, got, mm. it's got vitamin D, all right. Mm. <laughs> vitamin delicious, yeah. <laughs> pre-Alone Australia a 
kind of fish sperm kind of gal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I, I mean, I hadn't eaten fish sperm before. I will, I, I will put that in. I hadn't eaten fish sperm before, but out there, <laughs> that's crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, who knew? Um, <laughs> but eating eating fish sperm was um, it was a it was actually amazing to eat the fish sperm because it was like <laughs> concentrated. I know you just can't help it when I say fish sperm, can you? Fish sperm. <laughs> Eating fish sperm. Fish sperm. <laughs> That'd be a great MasterChef mystery box, wouldn't it? The, uh... yeah, yeah, fish sperm. Well, this was a turning point for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Got a wallaby. Got a wallaby. You found and ate a wallaby. Has Israel Folau been seen since? <laughs> um, he been? Yeah, I'm not wearing that one, sadly. Um, <laughs> but the funny thing about the wallaby, uh, getting the wallaby was, it, I kind of got it by accident. I, <laughs> I went out for a pee and because my, because my bed was super uncomfortable and the nights were 14 hours long, that's a long time to be lying in a very uncomfortable bed. So whenever I'd get up and go for a pee, I would then go and sit on this particular log that looked out over the lake. And all of a sudden I felt more than sore, actually. I felt this creature beside me. And <laughs> before I even knew what was happening, I jumped on it. And um, I got a rock that was, uh, was nearby and donked it. And that was it. That was my dinner for the next month. <laughs> Boy, what's wrong with this picture? This isn't normal for you? You don't do this on a Saturday night? Come on. And the fact that Getting was... some texts through, yeah. Gina, now. Um... Yeah, you're not allowed at Healesville Sanctuary anymore. <laughs> no, no. Or as Gina no. calls it, a delicatessen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gina, before we let you go, you won $250,000. What are you going to do with the money? To tell the truth, I have hardly thought about it, partly because they haven't paid me yet. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think it's to make sure I behave myself with, in all these interviews. Oh, wow. Hey, Gina, we have loved watching you on Alone Australia. Congratulations on an amazing effort and thank you so much for joining us. All episodes of Alone Australia are available on SBS On Demand. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Gina Chick! Woo!